We stop in Dallas. ABC Sports College Football presents a battle between Oklahoma at 0-4 and the 3-2 Texas Longhorns. A Big 12 South Division clash. 60 miles north of Dallas, the Red River meanders across the plains, separating Oklahoma from Texas. Today, the Sooners have encroached on the border and descended on the Texas State Fairgrounds to take on their neighbors to the south, the Texas Longhorns. Howdy, folks. This is Big Tex. Welcome back to the Red River Shootout between the Oklahoma Sooners and Texas Longhorns. In the state where everything we do is big. Jeremy Alexander kicking off for Oklahoma. Texas receiving. It's Westbrook and Mitchell. That's Mitchell. Sean Mitchell out to the 32-yard line, which is where the Texas third down and six. Adams in motion, split backs. Oklahoma coming with a blitz. Brown gets it off, and it's close to the backfield along with Williams. That's Holmes with the first down and then some. Holmes tackled by number nine in 1920, and then Oklahoma went off to the Missouri Valley Conference. And they haven't been in the same conference till this year. Hey, who's that? That's uh, Mr. Primetime. Dion watching this one. He's watching third and eight. The screen pass stuffed nicely by that Sooner defense, but there's a flag down at the near side of the field at the 35-yard line. Deion Sanders and some of the Cowboys on hand this afternoon in support of one of their former coaches, now the present head coach of O'Leary, the 35-year-old head coach, first-year head coach for the Oklahoma Sooners, calls himself a friend of the players. I bet he'd love to have Deion Sanders in the secondary today. Let's sneak him in for a play. Here's a field goal attempt from 46 yards out off of the leg and foot of Phil Dawson. He is 10 of 13 on the year. Dawson has got it like that. And the Texas Longhorns strike first in the 96th edition of the Red River War. We'll be right back. Laden with seniors. Four of them in that defensive backfield on third and six. They fire complete. James Allen has the first down and then some. Allen down to the 42-yard line of Texas. Number 80, Stephen Alexander. And Oklahoma, dating back to last season, has lost seven consecutive games, four of them this year. Now remember to... Holmes and Williams split behind Brown on third and ten. Brought down at the 19-yard line. A swarming Sooner defense. Holmes, Texas. Brian Lewis punting, and it's gone. It's happened before, and it happened again. And it could cost them six. Touchdown, Texas. Special teams once again. The bane of the Sooners. This is team to play better. That's one of the words I'll use. Yep. Screen pass. Parker has a little room. And he's got a blocker. Parker down to the 38-yard line. And a first down for Oklahoma. Pick up as of Texas looking at a 10 to nothing lead. And 10. Four wideouts for the Sooners. A little option look. Parker trying to get to the corner, and he does. There you see that acceleration. He gives an education in acceleration. That time, 15 from 31 yards out. Barely good. He is now four of six on the season. So Oklahoma gets on the depth. Yeah, they are. And he put on 28 pounds this year and looks better than he ever has as a running back. If only it were really that easy. There's a guy who's strong. Oh, Ricky Williams just buried an Oakland. Backs in a pro set. The toss to Williams. You have to wrap him up. Wow. Ricky Williams 
falls down. Johnny was hit at the... That one came from 47. Here it comes. And he pushed this one wide right. No good. He's really coming on as a receiver, Mark. Second down and three. Aikens out of the ball game, and James Allen finding success this time against that Texas like to use behind him. Yeah, that often happens. He just lines up and plays good football. Fuente on second and goal. Into the end zone, touchdown Sooners! Jackson with have an offense that goes north and one that goes south. Yeah, that was Chandler on the last one. Oh! Parker rocked Texas's world that time. Renfro and Kirkpatrick finally made the tackle after that 15-yard game by DeMond Parker. And does he put a move on Chris Carter at the end? Left him in his shoes. He shook the C off of Carter's name on the back. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hey, this line is playing well. Texas again, their Achilles heel is run deep. Watch this move at the end. Chris oh. Carter went that way, and Parker went the other way. Well, Parker's a guy who has incredible ability, and I have him in my hands. I don't know if we can get a shot of it. If we do, tell me which way to turn, guys. But This would give Oklahoma the lead in the ballgame. And Alexander is true to form. The Sooners, winless in 96. Losers of their last seven in a row. With the lead, folks, 13. Texas. This is a series that John Blake has played in as a defensive lineman. A series characterized by upsets. He said he was the MVP in this series, too, when he played. Yep. In the early 80s, defensive lineman. His last game. 1983. I want to check on that one. Oh, you think he's got the press clippings with him in his pocket? <laughs> you know, uh, Fred Akers made a good point today. He, he came into the booth and talked to Mark and me a little bit, and uh, he said, you know, Mark asked him about the series, and he said, you never forget your first one as a head coach. And I mentioned that to John Blake today on the field. He said, is that right? And I think right now he's enjoying this one, and he'll certainly not forget this. Good job rushing and receiving with 54 seconds to play in the first half. Brown over the middle. Incomplete. He tried to hit number 11 one more time. Good defense by Tyrell Peters. Would not let him inside. Ricky Williams was trying to get inside and spread him out, which they look like they're doing, and see if they can run the football. Brown into the end zone on the out. Touchdown, Mike Adams. Fairgrounds. It's halftime. Texas leads Oklahoma in the...